the diver Nick uh, from uh, Adventures for Purpose uh, got um, asked a question from a um, retired uh, New York uh, uh, Police Department uh, uh, and uh, knowing as a detective that um, Nick is, uh, the diver Nick is limited to what you can disclose to the public due to this being um, um, case still under investigation, um, the detective knew how to ask the question, right? So he said, well, I'm not citating, so he said something along like, um, we know you can't disclose much, but um, if I can ask you, uh, was she recognisable, right? So the diver Nick, obviously, he has to be careful what he answers. Um, he clearly took a few seconds to rethink and how he's going to answer or is he going to answer this question and he said something in the line of um i cannot really say because i didn't see much okay all he saw he said all he saw was um some skin and her legs so which was um, enough for him to, while underwater, to confirm human remains in the back of the vehicle. So then um, further, they asked him if we could analyse more. Um, he said in the line of, he only saw her legs and... Um, due to the bloating or being underwater, um, he could not see no nothing from the torso. So I assume um, face as well. Okay, so he clearly stated all he saw is legs on some skin enough to confirmed there was human remains and could not see nothing from the torso and then he later he also goes to say that uh, uh, possibly because of the bloating the torso was hiding behind the legs or maybe very most likely floating above the legs towards the car floor and then they added, this is, pro is this because the car was upside down? And he said, yes, because the vehicle was upside down. So that would be the car floor. He was also, also uh, I'm stumbling again. Um, um, he was also asked a question. Could he see anything from the very back window of the trunk? and why did he wipe the window and uh, he said nick the driver i'm being specific here and i'm being careful what i say as well um the diver nick answered that saying he what he couldn't see anything through the back window there was some debris of some kind build up of some kind and he wiped the window so he can see if the build-up was on the inside or the outside. And when he wiped it, he realized he was on the inside of the window, of the glass. So uh, he could not literally see anything inside the vehicle. So let's just clear this up. There's so many speculations that and and i don't know if it's due to the frustration of 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 not having information or, or new information or um the nevada sheriffs coming out and saying this is what we have this is what we think this is what we don't have this is where we are at with the keely rodney's case is it this or whatever the reason 
um, some of you folks are just taking your speculations far too fetch well and beyond the uh, reality and you're not even you're not even talking facts here I mean um, some someone has claimed they managed to with using some skills of photoshopping and other and some software they managed to remove the blurring of the underwater AWP uh, video footage how we found uh, Kaylee Rodney and they, they somehow are claiming they managed to remove the blurring blurring of the site um, trunk hatchback whatever it's called a window and which shows um, the deceased um, Kaylee Rodney um, naked and her face and she's kneeling and like this like that well stop it Nick the diver did not see anything like that stop putting information out there that are not true not facts uh, uh, and it's disrespectful to Keely and to her family and all her loved ones who care, who are grieving, okay? If you can talk and discuss facts, fine. It's all right to speculate, it's all right to put your thoughts out there. But this is just gone too far. And I just wanted to make this, to put it out there. Because um, not everyone has seen this uh, uh, video of, of uh, the diver Nick uh, making this this um, disclosure. Okay, so and obviously not everyone knows where to find it, but I'm not going to. Uh, specify the source here I know I'm not going to say and tell where this was and where he was uh, when he had the interview so but I can concretely tell you that is what he said he saw right he did not say mention tattoos. He did not say if one shoe was on, if the other shoe was off, did she have both shoes? Nothing like that. He did not say if she had clothes on or she did not have clothes on and if she did, what type of clothes she had. Nothing like that. And the purpose of asking this question and having him, it was just to give a uh, more um, uh, factual um, picture of the case to a professional forensics medical examiner so the lady can answer the questions from the viewers accurately or near accurately and appropriately. That was it. So God bless Nick and thanks for trying hard, your, your hardest to, to not disclose information that are crucial for the investigation and so to bring closure to her parents and her loved ones and but in the same time um helping experts to discuss and keep this case live thank you so much for that you are wonderful all of you in awp uh wonderful so wonderful that i see many people uh 
calling you heroes, guys. But I, I actually sat here and I was looking for uh, a better word than a hero. And what's the word that you can use that is better than a hero? <laughs> And I did that, and I found many words, so I put together, uh, this is what I put together. If I was to ask what you are, guys, from AWP, Adventures for Purpose, I would say you are a lion-hearted aqua warriors. Continue the excellent work you do or well it's not a work it's the excellent deed you do for the purpose of doing it oh i just sighed didn't i <laughs> got so excited anyway thanks for listening to my recording and uh, like subscribe everything's free i don't charge i don't make money on this and you never know what i might post that could be you know um of uh, value to yourself okay thank you bye for now